Oh, hell yeah. You know, you guys can keep your Tommy guns. I'll take one of these. I got the perfect gun for that little gopher this time. Outstanding. Well guys, in case you can't tell, we got a very special gun that we're talking about today. We got the Chris Vector. All right, but this just, uh, this isn't any Chris Vector. This is a machine gun. Uh, this one is full auto. In the intro here, I was shooting it on two round burst. You notice that a lot of those shots landing real close to each other and uh, very, very unique machine gun. I've been getting a lot of requests from you guys to talk about this gun. And it is very unique. A lot of you guys, I know a lot of you guys are gamers and these things show up in movies and video games and there's just so many people that love this gun, they love the silhouette of it, they're familiar with it, but they don't know a whole lot about it. And you know, whether you're a police officer or a military person, you're looking for them you know, for your unit, or whether you're like me and you're just an enthusiast and you love really cool engineering, this is a very, very awesome firearm. Um, it's very unique. Your typical machine gun, uh, traditionally, you know, like all the way back to you know, World War I even, early machine guns just use a linear axis of travel with the bolt mechanism. It goes straight back and forward. And most of them operate on a blowback system. This gun kind of changes things a little bit. Of course, you know, we are due for a new machine gun. Uh, the bolt actually reciprocates downward and to the rear. It has a recoil reduction system built into it, which uh, greatly reduces felt recoil in this system, uh, which is very unique. Um, there really hasn't been a, a gun like this ever, so it's a very unique design. Um, think of it kind of like a Luger toggle, except it actually moves down instead of back. Instead of the toggle, it actually toggles downward, so it's, it's a really unique system. We're going to pull the gun apart in a while, and I'll show you the mechanism. This particular gun, as all the machine guns are, single shot, two round burst, and full auto. And this thing, the, the rate of fire is so fast that if you don't have this thing just right on the money, I mean, it will get away from you. Check this out. Let's see if I can uh, lay a full auto uh, group on this plate here. All right, so I've got the uh, gun on full automatic. The safety's back here, so very uh, comfortable safety to reach from the fire, uh, firing hand. So. Let's, uh, let's shoot a full auto group here. The suppressor that I'm running is actually their Defiance suppressor. This is a suppressor that they make. Uh, this is a Griffin Industries uh, shroud that's on it. That's not their company, but very cool little shroud. Let's run it real quick. We'll talk some more about it here. Oh, might help put around in the chamber. How about that? Get some of that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> It's just so fast. I mean, the rate of fire, it, it really, it reminds me of those early M10s that are in 380, the little micros, and they just run so insanely fast that if you're not really watching yourself, I mean, they, they just run so ridiculously fast, it's awesome. The two round burst, incredibly effective. Let's shoot a little bit more on two round burst. Show you guys the kind of accuracy you can get with it, even on two round burst. I'm going to lay waste to some of these uh, sodas here, and we might even try a few two-round bursts out to 100 here, see if we can get a few to land on the plate together. So uh, you do get a little bit of point of impact shift with a suppressor in general, although this suppressor is actually designed specifically for the Chris. Now, I don't know if it's just this can, but in my experience, some suppressors don't lend themselves quite as well to certain guns, but this particular suppressor, it seems like it suits this gun really well. So I'm not really seeing any point of impact shift versus when the can is off versus when it's on. So let's go ahead and uh, take out some stuff here. I'm gonna start with some of these uh, evil sodas that are eyeballing me. Oh yeah, that one spewed good. All right, let's try a couple of these steel plates in front of me here. Made short work of those. Let's see if I got enough ammo here to reach out to 50.
puts them in there. Absolutely. Well, we're going to get a little bit more ammo topped off and uh, run the gun a little bit more. Very unique system, um, very accurate. You know, the five and a half inch barrel really is a perfect barrel length for a 45 ACP firearm. You know, I think it's a perfect blend of velocity, you know, really giving that, uh, that powder plenty of time to burn up inside of, the mus inside of the barrel and release all that energy. You know, once a 45 ACP gets to a certain point in a barrel, you're kind of losing velocity, you're not really gaining velocity. You know, it's more of a friction thing. So the five and a half inch barrels lend themselves quite well to, to pretty accurate shooting. Um, I've actually got another vector over here. We're gonna grab a different vector that's set up in a slightly different configuration to run for you. Um, but guys, how can you not enjoy shooting a machine gun? And this is a gun that you guys have been asking me to shoot quite a bit. And uh, I just haven't had a chance to get a hold of them because you know, quite frankly, they're just not easy to get. Uh, not a lot of dealers generally have them. Uh, you know, they're, they're pretty much law enforcement only uh, for the most part. All right, guys, well, this wouldn't be a machine gun video if we didn't shoot at least a watermelon and a pumpkin here. So we're going to take care of that watermelon real quick here. Let's get him out of the way. <laughs> wow, <laughs> it really blitzes him really good there. Let me grab another mag and we're going to take care of our pumpkin problem here. All right, you guys saw in that shot there that uh, watermelon... Man, it's hard to keep this thing uh, controlled full auto on a little bitty target like that. So we're going to put it on two round burst and uh, see if we can deal with that pumpkin problem right there. I'm going to try real hard to, to keep them in a nice tight cluster here. Well, it's a masterpiece. I'll never be able to do it that way again, but I'll, I'm gonna call that my Mona Lisa of pumpkins there, all right? Let's move on to some other stuff. All right, guys, well, I'm gonna take a few shots with the Chris Vector. Um, yeah, I tried the gun out earlier. I've actually never fired one of these in slick fire, and I tell you what, this two-shot burst on this thing is just incredible. Rate of fire is just so insanely high. I mean, they basically just stack right on top of each other. I'm gonna give you guys kind of a demonstration of that, and just basically gonna wear out our uh, shootseal.com targets here. And uh, just have a little bit of fun. I mean, this gun is just amazing. If you ever got, if you get uh, the chance to ever shoot one of these things, you really need to. All right, so you're a SWAT operator or whatever. Okay, you walk into a room, you got three bad guys. All right, you're walking in the room. Okay, three bad guys. What do you do? You wear them out just like that. All right, let's have a little bit of fun here. These magazines go really fast. Mm -hmm. All right, let's try those little small plates again. All right, let's wear out some sodas here. Man, <laughs> I tell you what, 25 rounds goes mighty fast. Luckily, I've got 100 rounds of ammunition on me. All right, let's see. Let's go down the line here. A little too fast there. Let's... All right, I think I'm gonna try a couple of shots at 50 yards. I've got that little gopher up there. I don't know if I'll be able to hit him or not, but be interesting to try. Let's see what we can do here. Let's see where my shots are going. A little low, okay. Kind of hitting all around him. All right, guys. All out. 100 rounds down range. Pretty rapid succession with this gun. Let's move up the hill. We're gonna take some longer range shots with this little uh, short barrel on this thing. See what kind of accuracy we can get out of the setup. All right, guys, we're gonna demonstrate very quickly. I do have a couple of 45 ACP tracer rounds left over. 
Um, I'm going to try to demonstrate the trajectory of the 45 ACP by using these tracer rounds. All right, we're going to try these tracers here, 300 yards. Let's see how far a 45 ACP will trace. You can really see the trajectory of that 45 tracer going down range. I mean, there's a lot going on there. It's dropping a long way. You can see a bit of destabilization of the projectile after it reaches around 250 yards. You know, tracers really demonstrate that quite well, as you can see. You see a lot of machine gun videos where people don't really showcase the accuracy of the firearm. And, you know, don't get me wrong, machine guns in, in full cyclic rate, of course, are great for laying a lot of lead down range and putting it exactly where you want, as you saw in the earlier clips there. Uh, we're going to take some single shots out to 300 yards. This is a five and a half inch barrel, 230 grain federal ball. Um, that's all the ammo that we've been running today is the 230 grain ball from federal there. And uh, I'm going to show you guys just how effective one of these can be on single shot. Um, there's a lot of misconceptions about barrel length uh, when it comes to, especially 45 ACP. You know, everybody thinks a longer barrel is going to yield better accuracy. It's going to yield higher velocities. Now, in some cases with a pistol cartridge, that tends to be true. Uh, but in the case of the 45 ACP, it likes a five and a half inch barrel. All right, so give me a little time here to get on the gong. Uh, we're having to aim about 30, 32 feet over the top of the gong. It's a 22 inch round at 300 yards. All right, guys, we got a little bit of a drizzle, a little bit of rain, but I think we know just about where the uh, gun's hitting. If I can do it today in the rain, I know I can do it anytime, so. Let's give it a try here. I got a little bit of ammo left. See if we can land it on that gong there. There it is. Low left. Guys, it puts them in there. I know it's hard to tell on the video here. We are getting a light rain. Um, this is certainly a hard shot to do anyway in the normal day, but you know we're starting to get rained on here. Um, the gun will definitely deliver the goods in terms of putting the rounds where you want them. Okay, you know the thing about single shot, you can definitely you know decisively put a round where you want it. Even the misses um, with, out of this vector with the short barrel weren't by much. Uh, you guys might have saw the carbine video where we shot the full-size Vector. If you guys are interested in owning a semi-automatic version of this gun, we do have a few videos out on the Vector. Be sure to check those out. Um, but it can certainly be done. You saw that once I got my point of aim down. Now bear in mind, guys, this is a non-magnified optic. This is just a red dot. If I were to put some type of uh, you know minor magnification on this or maybe an a, 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 a EOTech magnifier or something like that on the back, you could get a lot uh, better immediate feedback as to what's going on without the use of a spotter. Um, the guns definitely delivers the goods. We were making very short work of the uh, 200 yard gong. Uh, the 250, you know, starting to stretch it a bit. Um, I would say that the maximum effective range of this gun for everyday shooting for an average person, I would not hesitate shooting at something at 200 yards and be worried about whether or not I was gonna hit the target. You start getting into the 300 range, past 300, uh, certainly going to be a little bit more difficult to connect on a consistent basis, but the guns definitely deliver the goods. Uh, we appreciate you watching our video today. We always enjoy a chance to get out and shoot a machine gun, and uh, this is a gun that sadly uh, just doesn't get showcased enough because it really is a very good quality 
uh, you know, machine gun and, and really in a semi-auto form, uh, a sure charm to shoot too. So uh, we appreciate you guys watching our video today. We hope you enjoyed it and we hope you maybe learned a little bit of something about uh, the 45 in general and, and how it pertains to, you know, barrel length and everything like that. Uh, we had a lot of fun making it. We'll catch you next time. I'm going to get out of the rain and go grab a beer. See you later.